Greetings folks, well this is an unfortunate occurrence isn't it, uh, the missus came in and she said I've uh, got a bit of a problem because I need to get some data off of the USB stick and uh, here's a USB stick, I've taken it out of the uh, its plastic packaging and um, what happened was, was uh, I'm not quite sure the scenario but obviously physical damage and uh, what's happened is, is that this um, the USB plug has popped off the connections here and um, in fact, if we look on, if I turn this over, you'll see that actually uh, there's a reason why the colour of this is this colour, and that's because it's ripped off the pads just here. So I'm going to see if we can fix this under the microscope and um, in real time. So wish me luck. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is, um, and what you should always do is make sure that you know what the. Um, but I'm not going to repair this, by the way, so that it's. Uh, of anything other than just to get the data off of it. Uh, that's not the intention. The intention of this is just to uh, just to get it working well enough so we can get the data off and not to be used for in future. So uh, uh, we've got to try and uh, fix it more than just uh, uh, with a bit of glue, if you like, but um, enough just to get the data off. And um, you see where it normally goes is that's where it should where it should be. And we're going to have to see if we can uh, we can tidy this up a bit. So make sure that you know which way round this was when you uh, put it in, because in fact the the power supply is on these edge pins, um, and if you put it the wrong way around, it's um, you're going to definitely cause a heck of a lot more damage than uh, than otherwise. And the chance of you getting your data off if you put the power the wrong way around is um, is probably not very good. So first thing I'm going to do is to um, tin these connections and get this uh, this rubbish off. So uh, here we go. By the way, um, I haven't done this recently, so I need to clean the tip. Schoolboy error. Here we go. So, clean up these uh, connections first. I'm also using uh, leaded solder here. It's a little bit more, a uh, little bit easier to use than unleaded. Oh, sorry, lead free. I'm getting my uh, petrol gasoline mixed up. Seems to be quite a lot of uh, missing a bit of flux on here. That's why we're getting these little tips coming off at the end. I might have to use a little bit of uh, braid. Should have put this into a little vice thing, shouldn't I? Making a bit of a mess of the plug as well while I'm at it. There we go. It's good enough for the girls I go out with. That's an interesting uh, channel. If you're of open mind, is uh, the AVE channel. If you're interested in that, uh, Canadian fella. Um, I find him pretty entertaining anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, to make this a bit steadier for our connections because when we make the uh, the connections between here and the board itself, we're going to have to probably uh, do some pretty delicate soldering. So I'm going to going to just um, put a little bit of glue on here. There we go. Probably way too much there from the glue gun way too much, definitely way too much, so I'm going to have to, oh dear, yeah. oh well, we're going to have a nice smell of melting glue now I guess, it's, it's now actually, uh, it feels like it's um, melted onto the table as well, or onto the uh, anti-static mat, at any rate, let's see, okay, yeah, 
that'll do for now. Now again, this is this is not designed to be on there for um, ad infinitum. This is just so we can get the data off. I might just squirt a little bit on there, a little bit on there. Let's just see if we can. Just enough to give it enough mechanical strength so that we can actually plug it into something. Right. The other problem with this stuff is it gets everywhere, doesn't it? Joy. Let's do cat hairs. There we go. So hopefully that's going to be good enough. Now you notice these pins don't even hit the pads anymore because when it came off it was um, really done in a bit of a disastrous way and these things are not designed for uh, that kind of activity. So stuff I use for this is wire wrapping or Kynar wire. So this is the stuff. It's a solid core inner, and um, when I have a little tool like this, which you can see, which has got a stripper. So let's see if we. I'll show you how we strip it. So let's see if I can get it in frame. There we go. Stick the uh, the wire in. Now for the power. Hopefully you saw that. For the power, which is as I mentioned, the the two pins. Um, Here and here, I'm just gonna put a little solder bridge on there with a bit of uh, wire, and that uh, a bit of luck that should be enough. And, um, just tin that in there as well. I really hope you can see this. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to. Uh, I think you might be able to see it now. I've just angled the soldier line a little bit. Uh, there we go. So, by the way, don't do this with coffee. If you drunk more than one cup of coffee or a strong coffee, you might as well just give up for the day. In fact, you might as well just just have drunk a ton of booze because. Uh, similar effect, you, you, except uh, with booze at least you won't be shaking, well it depends on how much you've had of course, but with coffee I guarantee you will be shaking. So similar thing here, and I'll see if I can maybe, I'm having to, so I'm going to tin the connection that I'm going to make here, which is the ground on the board to the ground here, so, so I happen to know it's ground because I can see how it's um, it's going to all this, these vias. So generally, you do it on the on the board. You'll flood your ground. So there we go. So that's that. This will also give it a little bit of um, structural rigidity. Now things are going to get a little bit tighter now. With I think we'll be okay, but with this wire, uh, you see we've got this looks like half in half millimeter pitch. Um, connection here so I'm not going to bother trying to keep it insulated I think we're just going to go with the bare wire again um, just to reiterate this is this is not for a permanent solution this is just so we can get the data off and it's going to be fiddly so bear with me I'm just trying to think which the best solution is going to be here whether I should go from this down to here yeah I think it probably is this is, um, by the way, I can tell this is a USB 2 stick. The USB 3 sticks have um, several more connections to do, so USB 2 is, is much easier, and uh, any demands on things like constant impedance and whatever, although you do need to uh, take that into account in uh, when you do do your board, if you do board layouts and whatnot, um, for this short distance of what, I would say this is probably half a centimetre, something like that. 
Um, in wavelength terms, it's it's diddly squat, so I, I would not worry about it. Um, let's see if we can get this on this pin. I think I should have chopped it a little bit shorter. Maybe I'll do that. Well, these are not the best snippers actually. There we go. They're cheapo five dollar ones. There's one. So let's see if we can solder this on now. This is gonna be I probably should put some flux on here. Uh, because the solder that this is going to be made with is probably uh, unlead, um, lead free, sorry, not unleaded, getting my petrol mixed up again. And um, it's going to make it a bit, we need to make it so the, the solders will mix. There we go, I think that looks okay. Later on, I'll be getting the beeper out, so um, just to check that we are, there you go, just uh, booted the beeper up. Just to check that we are actually connecting. Here's the other one that we're going to do. Looks okay, so let's just. By the way, the shield on these things um, isn't actually necessary um, for a physical connection to make USB, or certainly floating USB, work. And uh, the reason for that is, is that it is just a, sh a shield. Um, for against um, RF, so typically these aren't on the device aren't actually connected directly to ground. Uh, these typically are uh, connected via um, a resistor capacitor network, and uh, which essentially looks like a, a short at some um, high frequency, but it's just um, you know of the order of about a mega ohm at, uh, at DC. So the point of that is is to stop um, what's called ground loops. Uh, so in case uh, your device is connected to something and uh, you get a, a high current DC, this is going to be a bit fiddly. There you go, I managed to bridge it. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? So this is again why we need the braid. So let's just do this. Oops. I think that's that's good. And this looks, yeah, looks, looks good to me. I'm going to just buzz it out. Oh, I've just picked up the wrong, oh, put it on continuity. Good idea. There we go, right. So, I'm just going to check that it is connected to there. Oops. There we go. Let's make sure there's no short. Make sure there's no short. Brilliant. Okay. And that is how to repair a USB stick. Thanks for watching.